life and today we're going to be doing a Christmas get it all done with me I have a bunch of different just like random things I need to do the house is already like pretty clean um, I just kind of have like you know all those random tasks that you don't get to I got a little extra time so I'm probably gonna take the next couple of days just to kind of get the house like tidied up a little bit and get a few things organized I did order a few things off of Amazon for today um i'm not really liking how our shower and like vanity in our bathroom is organized so i ordered a couple more things to organize that area a little bit better and then i ordered something to organize my sponges in the kitchen just a little bit better too so we'll put those things out i've got a ton of gift wrapping to do for christmas i'm trying to get all my gift wrapping done this weekend and I need to make some Christmas DIY stuff for some of those Christmas gifts that I'm doing. So I think we're going to be making maybe some more candles in like a winter New Year's kind of scent. Or maybe a Valentine's Day. I haven't decided yet. And then some hand soaps for some Christmas baskets that I'm making. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. So the first thing that I am doing is watering our Christmas tree and you definitely want to make sure that you're keeping your tree really well watered um, because that is the number one way to cause like a Christmas tree fire is if your tree gets too dried out then it can cause a fire with your lights and I actually when I was younger saw that happen um, to a neighbor's house and it was super super sad. I can't imagine anything worse than having like a Christmas tree fire. So just to PSA, make sure your tree is staying watered and check it every single day. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is just uh, trimming some of these flowers up. And I actually brought this like pansy and those two mums off of our porch that we had had out at the fall. Um, and I'm just bringing them inside, giving them a little bit of a trim. I'm not sure if this is what you're supposed to do. I'm absolutely not a plant expert. I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants. I've just recently gotten into it. Um, so I'm just messing around with those. I'm not sure if it's going to work out or not bringing them inside like that. Like if they'll last and be good next year for the fall. I'm just kind of seeing what happens with those. And I didn't just want to throw them out because they still look pretty nice. And now that I've gotten all that cleaned up, I'm going to be moving into the kitchen because as you can see, it is a little bit of a mess in here. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The tidings we bring to you and your kid. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring. And bring it out here The tidings we bring To you and your king We wish you a Merry Christmas And a Happy New Year For we all like figgy pudding For we all like figgy pudding 
this is our like reusable coffee filter basket and if you are looking to go green and save a little bit of money at the same time get a reusable coffee filter basket you can get them off of Amazon for super cheap I've actually even seen them at Dollar General um, and that is just a super easy way to not have as much waste and to save a little bit of money at the same time and they work super great the tidings we bring to you and your kid we wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year so i just got a package from amazon as you saw from our doorway and so i was just gonna open it up really fast So these are just some little baskets and they're actually baskets that like hang up and so you can put plants in them and then hang them up and this is the second time I've ordered these like plant type baskets um, off of Amazon but they're from a company I think it's I don't even know how to say it p-o-t-e-y but I absolutely love these little things I actually the basket that I have our palm tree in I got um, from the same company and so I got these to put Christmas gifts in um, so that we're not using as many like gift bags and things and then after the Christmas season I will probably hang them up in the spring maybe like in front of our front door like where we have that coat hanger I might hang one there and put like either a real plant or a fake plant in it because like the clear coat on it was not like completely smooth so they're repainting that and we dropped it off yesterday and they called today and said that it is ready to be picked up so as soon as Garrett gets off work we're gonna pick that up we are also picking a Walmart grocery order up while we're out so I'll be sure to show you guys that it's just a bunch of like snacks and junk food for the weekend so it's no healthy food at all So the first thing we got is just these blueberry waffles. My daughter eats a blueberry waffle almost every single morning before breakfast. She loves blueberry waffles. So we keep a huge stockpile of those on hand. Um, we just got this spinach artichoke and gouda dip that you heat up in the microwave and we'll eat that with some tortilla chips that we already have. We got a couple bags of mini marshmallows. And I've been keeping mini marshmallows in like our little specialty fun winter drink basket that we have let's see over here so I don't think I've showed this but there's the DIY like little snow globe we made in episode one of my Christmas clean and decorate with me then I've just got some Christmas straws over here I did have candy canes in this but I took them out and used them on our Christmas tree so now I've just been keeping those cute little straws in there a few Reese's Christmas trees some hot apple cider, some hot cocoa, some chocolate chips, peppermint candies, and then there's some mini marshmallows, which we have been really going through. So yeah, back to the grocery order. Um, just got two bags of these, refilled that. Got some more caramel, cause y'all know I love caramel in my coffee. Guacamole. I got a couple of these. I haven't ate these in a really long time. But they're like 68 cent. I used to like exclusively eat these in college. Like I'd eat one of these and that was it. <laughs> um, some pizza rolls, some macaroni and cheese. This macaroni and cheese is so good. Suddenly salad, some Bush's baked beans, um, some silk almond milk yogurt some packaging tape because we have something to send back to Amazon and it needs to be sealed up. A couple bags of beef jerky and I think I'm actually gonna end up putting one of these in my husband's Christmas stocking. Some devil squares, some tomato basil harvest snaps. These, my husband really loves these, they're really good. A couple boxes of Christmas tree cakes, some cool ranch Doritos, a turkey and American cheese Lunchable 
and then a couple of these multi-V goodness cherry full house drinks. <laughs> showed you the grocery haul I'm just gonna quickly get all of these groceries put up really fast before we get on to the next task groceries are put up we're just gonna start in with a bunch of gift wrapping and my husband actually ended up helping me with a lot of this so it didn't take quite as long as I thought and I'm so super thankful that he helped me out with this but I'm just using those baskets that you saw me get earlier from Amazon to put some gifts in to start with down the chimney broad and black with your pack your queen so this basket is actually like a car kit um, and those little things that I'm holding up are rear view mirror like flower hangers. I got those off of Amazon and I think they are so adorable. station so I can get all of that put away.
so the first thing that I'm going to be starting with today is just cleaning some of Juniper's bath toys. And so I'm getting the sink nice and cleaned out so that I can dump the bath toys into the sink with some dish soap and let them just kind of sit there and soak for a little bit before I scrub them and dry them out. I'm also going to be filling up uh, the new glass dish soap dispenser that I got off of Amazon and it came with these cute little like stickers to put on there so it has one that says dish soap on there I thought it was so cute so I'm sticking that on there as well while the um, bath toys are in the sink soaking a little bit The next thing that I'm going to be doing while those bath toys are still soaking is putting up this little sponge holder on the inside of the door underneath our kitchen sink. And I just want to show you the bottom pops off of this so that the like water from the sponge can drain down into that and you can pop that bottom off and put it like in your dishwasher and wash it so it doesn't get all grimy in there. But this has to sit for an hour, it says, before you can put anything in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick it up and then I'll come back a little bit later and put the sponge in there. Now that the kitchen is all tidied up, we're going to move into the master bathroom and try to get it a little bit more organized because as you can see, things have gotten a little bit messy back here.
I'm just trying to organize everything that I pulled out from the underneath of the vanity into some little groups so I can see what would be the best way to put it back in there um, on the shelves and things like that. Now that I've gotten the vanity a little bit more organized, I am just going to give the top of the vanity a quick wipe down and wipe down the mirror with my e-cloth. And so I'm wiping down the vanity with just some vinegar spray that I made. So I do struggle a little bit with getting all of these shelves in our bathroom set up aesthetically how I would like them to look. Um, so yeah, I do play around with this for a little bit. I think eventually we are going to change out this shelf over the toilet. I feel like 
the height of it above the toilet is kind of awkward like there needs to be something between the toilet and it um, like maybe a sign or something or like a piece of art like if we leave it like that it's just kind of an awkward space but I don't really like this shelf I know we just put it up this past spring but it's already like the wicker like basket aspect of it is starting to like kind of mold from like the humidity in our bathroom um, and also you basically can't sit anything on it because it's just so like brittle and it's uneven so when you do sit stuff on it like it looks like it's like about to fall over and it's all crooked and that just really really bothers me I also wish it was like a little bit wider so that it was easier to like find stuff to put on it and it was a little bit more like user friendly for storage purposes since we do have a smaller bathroom On to the next, I'm taking this over the door like towel hanger that we had up down because it's like scratches and scrapes so bad and every time you open the door it makes this huge racket which if you know you have a sleeping toddler you do not want huge rackets every time you open or close the bathroom door. So I've taken that down, I'm going to put up these command hook towel holders and then in the shower I'm putting up like a command hook um, little shelf that you can put like shampoo and stuff in. It holds about six and a half pounds so that should be fine for everything we have. And then I'm also going to be putting up a little razor holder and all of these things have holes in the bottom so they're not going to like catch the water too bad in them. In the basket that was on the back of the toilet, I just kind of spread these white baskets that I have over the washer and dryer area out a little bit and fit this in between them. And then it just has some bins that I ended up not using in the bathroom in there. So I can easily grab those for another project and there was a white basket there that had nothing in it, so I took it out and I'm gonna use it somewhere in the closet. And I've taken a couple things out of the closet to try and use it for that. So we're gonna see if that works. that you should take a shower before you 
hang it up so I did quickly take a shower and now I'm going to put it up and place all of our shampoo and things like that in there. So now that I finished up in the bathroom, I'm just going to make a few candles for some gifts that I need to give people. And so to make these candles, I've made them before, but just to refresh your memory, you need to heat up about two cups of wax. Um, it'll probably take you like a minute and a half to get it heated up really well. And then while your soy wax is heating up, you can just go ahead and put your wicks in your little votives. And I have two like wick holders. Um, since I was making four, I used pencils and wrapped the wicks around two of them to kind of hold the wicks in place. And that seemed to really work well, especially if you don't have like a wick holder, you could definitely substitute with that method. And then you're just going to pour your wax into the, well, first you're gonna melt your wax and then you put your essential oils into the wax and stir it up and then pour the wax into the votives and let them sit for about 24 hours and then clip your wicks down short and they are ready to go. And these are really great because they don't have a lot of the added like chemicals in them that some of the like other candles may have in them and they smell really nice. It's just a really great easy gift to give people at the holidays. And so for the first um, candle that I'm doing here I used it's called Winter Breathe Easy, and so I used 12 drops of peppermint essential oil, four drops of pine essential oil, and six drops of uh, eucalyptus oil. And then for the other one, I did hibernate, and that's 10 drops of lemon, 10 drops of peppermint, and 10 drops of lavender. And another candle that I have been using recently that I will share with you is called Warm and Cozy. And that's 10 drops of cinnamon, 10 drops of orange, and 10 drops of clove. up this video I am making some hand soap for another gift that I'm gonna give somebody and I've shared this recipe before it's super simple um, two-thirds cup of Castile soap a, t a tablespoon of vegetable glycerin two tablespoons of coconut oil and then um, whatever essential oils that you want to add into it to sit it you need about 20 drops of whatever you want so you can do any combination that you like there um, and this one I am doing, I think the hibernate again. So I'm using uh, lemon, peppermint, and lavender in a mix to create a nice smelling little hand soap. And you just fill it up with water to the top and then I'm giving it a quick wipe off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and I will have one more video for you before Christmas. All right, have a happy holiday. Bye-bye.